Welcome to Rob Rides Gen X Pop Culture, and on today's episode, we're going to go over the top 50, yes, 50 love songs from the 1980s. Uh, we've got Valentine's Day coming up in 2024. It's right around the corner. As I'm recording this, it's uh, February 4th, uh, so we are just about a week and a half away from Valentine's Day, and the 1980s gave us so many wonderful love songs. So what I did was I compiled a list together uh, of several different sites, and then I started looking at the list and seeing which ones were similar and which ones were different, and I started picking some of them out, out of uh, the list because there were a couple of cheating songs in there, and I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, this is a love song list. We don't need a cheating song list. We may do one of those later on, but <laughs> I don't think those belong there. So I picked some of my own favorites. Uh, they're in you know, some semblance of an order, but some of these could be higher or lower on the list. Uh, tell me in the comments below which songs should be higher on the list or lower on the list. Also, tell me what songs I may have left out. I know there were a couple that I might have left out, so let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video if you like it, and let's get started with my top 50 countdown. All right, starting out the countdown at number 50 is a song you may not know. It's it's a Glenn Fry solo song. It's called The One You Love. It has a beautiful saxophone solo in it uh, that's just gorgeous. I can't really do it justice uh, right here, but I, I suggest go look it up on YouTube. Such a beautiful, great song. Uh, wonderful by Glenn Fry. I'm a big Eagles fan, and I love Glenn Fry's solo career. Uh, my number 49 song is is a fantastic song off a of Journey's Escape album, which I think is their best album. I had the tape as a kid and just love it. It's called Open Arms. Uh, beautiful, gorgeous love song. I know uh, that this song gets kind of uh, treated as one of their more sappy love songs, but I still love this one. Uh, great song, Open Arms. Number 48, I had to include ZZ Top and my favorite album, Eliminator, uh, with Give Me All Your Lovin'. Give Me All Your Lovin' is a great song. Um, and back in the 80s, ZZ Top was huge with their videos. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but most of their videos from the 1980s had a similar storyline, and they kind of connected in one way or the other. Maybe I'll do a video about the, the ZZ Top uh, videos from the 1980s. If you want me to, let me know in the comments below. Okay, moving on is our first song about uh, a girl that's, uh, got another song about that same girl later on the countdown. It's Toto's Rosanna, which is a great song. I had the tape as a kid. Uh, what a beautiful song. It's about Rosanna Arquette, who at the time was dating their drummer. And um, on the tape, if you listen to Rosanna, which is the first song on the tape, and flipped it over to side two, Africa was the last song. So you can listen to Rosanna, flip the tape, and get Africa back to back. So very cool. All right, number 46 is a beautiful song by Krista Berg. It's called Lady in Red, and this is a gorgeous song. If you've never heard it, go look it up. Um, some kind of personal information about me. I actually sang this song to my girlfriend in college. No, I'm not going to sing it for you right now, but love this song. Always thought it was beautiful, um, and we'll always think of that wonderful memory with her. Um, number 45 is Glory of Love by Peter Cetera. It's from the Karate Kid 2 soundtrack. What a beautiful song. Great movie, by the way. And Peter Cetera, there's a rumor that he wrote this before he left Chicago, and he decided to take that song with him. Don't know if it's true or not. We could always explore that. If you want me to do a video on Peter Cetera in Chicago, let me know. Okay, number 44, Broken Wings by Mr. Mister. Uh, my second favorite song by them. It's a beautiful song. Love it. Carrie is actually my favorite song. Uh, but this one is just fantastic. It got a lot of radio airplay. It's just a really, really pretty song. Number 43 was Huey Lewis in the News uh, with Do You Believe in Love. It was their first hit. Uh, great song. Fantastic song. Uh, love this song. It's just a very catchy tune, and, and I, I really like it. Um, number 42 is one of my favorite U2 songs. It's not one that's real well known or played. It's called All I Want Is You. It's from Rattle and Hum, which came out in 89 towards the end of the 80s. And it's just a beautiful uh, love song. Bono actually wrote it for his wife. And 
If you look up a video for this song, look up Blind Guitar Player, All I Want Is You. Uh, U2 was at, had their concert, and there was a guy towards the front row uh, that held up a sign that says, I'm blind and can play guitar. Bono brought him up on stage, gave him his guitar, and he wanted uh, to play this song and have Bono sing it, and Bono does that for him. It's a real cool, cool moment by U2. Uh, shows, you know, Bono's class and, and just why they're such a great band. Look that up. It's also a very beautiful song. Okay, number 41 is my favorite Billy Joel song, uh, She's Got Away. And I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, that came out in 1972 on Cold Spring Harbor. Yes, but Billy Joel re-released it in 1980 on Toys in the Attic, and it charted in 1982. Um, She's Got Away is just a beautiful song. He wrote it for his then wife at the time. I still think it uh, stands the test of time and is a beautiful love song. Anyway, let's get to 40 through 31. Number 41 is from a hard rock group. Yes, there were some hard rock love songs that were great. And this is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Uh, Awesome song. Fantastic uh, work by Axl Rose on the vocals. But Slash's guitar is what makes this song. The opening riff is just amazing. Love it. Love this song. What a beautiful song by Guns N' Roses. Number 39 is my favorite song by Starship. Uh, It's Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now from the Mannequin soundtrack. Uh, Just a gorgeous song. It's one that really tells about a a couple making it. And I always send it to friends who are having an anniversary because I feel the lyrics are so much about a couple. And uh, I just really love that song. Number 38 is by the great Marvin Gaye. It's called Sexual Healing. Unfortunately, it's one of his last songs because he tragically passed away Uh, Not long after uh, this album came out, Uh, but Marvin Gaye was such an amazing singer and he has so many great love songs from the 70s, but this one was really great in the 80s. Uh, Number 37 is by REO Speedwagon. This song is certified gold. It's one of their biggest hits and one of my favorite songs by them, Uh, Keep On Loving You. Uh, What a fantastic song. Uh, just, Just really beautiful and they did a fantastic job. Like I said, it's certified gold and one of the best songs of all time. Um, the next song is Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You by George Benson. Now, this song came out in 1985 and was a hit for, for George and then was redone by another artist in 1987 and was a hit again. But I like the original. It's a beautiful song. Uh, look it up if you don't know it. Uh, it's Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. Uh, such a beautiful song. Okay, Phil Collins Hits this uh, chart for the first time at number 35 with Against All Odds. Take a look at me now uh, from the Against All Odds a soundtrack. It's a gorgeous song by Phil. I got to see Phil Collins in concert in 2019, and he nailed this song. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Now, the interesting thing about this song is they wanted it for the movie, but Phil Collins didn't have any new material at the time, so he... Gave them a song that didn't make the cut on one of his first two albums. Yeah, that's right. This song, which was a number one smash hit for him, did not make the cut on any of his solo albums at the time. Wow, that's interesting. But such a beautiful song. I, you know, I could listen to that one all day. Um, number 34 is Prince uh, with I Would Die For You from the amazing soundtrack to Purple Rain. I mean... That is a phenomenal album by Prince. Unfortunately, we lost him way too early, but this is a gorgeous song by him. And actually, he he kind of quotes scripture with the uh, with the meaning of the song. So, you know, Prince just is is just a fantastic artist. I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, number thirty three is the Bangles, and I love the Bangles. I I had several of their albums. Uh, just a a beautiful group and a, a beautiful song, Eternal Flame. Um, which came out on their last album. Unfortunately, this was on their very last album because they broke up no longer after it came out. But Eternal Flame is one of their best hits, and I really love that song. Number 32 is Right Here Waiting For You by Richard Marks. Uh, This is a gorgeous song. Um, So beautiful. And Richard wrote this uh, for his wife, who was an actress who was filming a movie in South Africa at the time, and they were apart for quite a while. 
And that's where his longing for her caused him to write this beautiful, beautiful song. And number 31 is a very upbeat, probably one of my favorite Whitney Houston songs, I Want to Dance with Somebody Who Loves Me. Uh, Just a great song by Whitney. Again, she's another artist that we lost way too young, uh, but she does a great job on this song. It's so upbeat and so wonderful. And actually, the video is really cool, too. Uh, Let's get down to uh, 30 through 21. So number 30, we're going New Wave with the Cure Love Song. Uh, It's one of their biggest hits, and I, I love the instrumental opening to it. Uh, it's really classic, and this is a fantastic song. 29 uh, is Tears for Fears, Head Over Heels, um, from their smash album, Songs from the Big Chair. I uh, love the intro to this one as well. This one's a great song. Probably one of my favorite Tears for Fears songs. Um, just fantastic, phenomenal. Uh, number 28 Uh, You probably can expect a few uh, songs from Dirty Dancing, uh, the soundtrack. It's I've Had the Time of My Life, and it's just a great, fantastic, upbeat song. It almost sounds like an oldie that belongs in the time frame of the movie, and it it just fit it perfectly. Uh, Just a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful song. Uh, Love it. Uh, Number 27, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? Um, Yes, Michael Bolton gets this chart. This was actually the second release of this song. Uh, it was actually released prior to it, and I can't remember the artist who uh, he wrote it for. She released it. It wasn't a big hit for her, but then Michael Bolton took it on, and uh, he just he nails it in the vocals. Uh, say what you want about Michael Bolton, but this is a beautiful song. He had several other beautiful love songs that he did in the early 90s that are great, but uh, for me, this one is one of his better ones. Um Number 26 is an essential Steve Winwood song. I uh, love this song uh, from back in the High Life album. It's Higher Love. Uh, it's just a, an amazing, fantastic song. And I could listen to this all the time. I love Steve Winwood. He's such an amazing artist. Okay, number 25 from the Top Gun soundtrack. It's Berlin with Take My Breath Away. Uh, such a great song. And it fit the love theme from Top Gun to a T. Uh, it's such a great one. And then the video is really good, too. It's it's really cool. I, I like that song. Um, number 24 is a song you may not know. Um, it's not as popular. It may not get as much airplay nowadays. But it's Survivor, The Search is Over. Um, this is a beautiful song by Survivor. Um, you know, everybody knows them for Eye of the Tiger. And Eye of the Tiger is a great song. But this song really shows... The range is a band, and it's just such a beautiful ballad. Uh, I love this song. Um, Number 23, yet another soundtrack album. Sheena Easton with For Your Eyes Only from the James Bond movie For Your Eyes Only. Uh, Great song. So beautiful. Um, I love the opening track and the opening scene for For Your Eyes Only for the movie. And uh, the video for the song is very similar, too. So great, great song. All right, number 22, you can predict that this one would be on uh, the top 20. Probably on my top 50, probably should be higher on the list. Let me know if you think it should. It's Endless Love, sung by Dinah Dinah Ross and Lionel Richie. Um, I always think of the scene in Happy Gilmore. Um, You know, friends can listen to Endless Love in the Dark. Anyway, uh, it's a beautiful song. It's gorgeous. It is one of the most romantic love songs uh, ever and it's uh, number 22 on my list and coming in at number 21 again is Phil Collins uh, with a beautiful song a groovy kind of love uh, it's just a, a fantastic song um, I love the melody and I love the chorus to it so we're down to my last 20 so let's let's hear number 20 through number 11 Number 20 is a classic by Stevie Wonder. I just called to say I love you. Um, Probably something that all of us should do anytime, not just on the holidays or not just on birthdays. Uh, But yeah, this is a beautiful song and he references all the different holidays and the importance of just telling somebody that you love them. Uh, What a romantic way to lead us into Valentine's Day. Number 19 
is one of my favorite Huey Lewis songs of all time. Of course, I had to have it on here since it's on the Back to the Future soundtrack. The Power of Love. Great song. Upbeat. Uh, just a really, really great song. A lot of a lot of fun. Love listening to it. Can listen to this song almost all day. Uh, number 18 is another hard rocker by Van Halen. Um, it's one of my favorites. And 5150 is one of my favorite albums by Van Halen. It's the first one with Sammy Hagar, and it's called uh, Love Walks In. Uh, Such a great song. Kind of interesting the way that they use metaphors in this song, but uh, it's fantastic. It's really good. I I like it. Um, Number 17 is Missing You by John Waite. Now, this one is an interesting song because um, he almost left it off the album, and he felt like uh, his album needed another song. So he convinced the studio to uh, let him put this one on it. He paid an extra $5,000 and this is his biggest hit. Um, And it's such a beautiful song. Uh, He said he was writing it uh, when his marriage, he was going through a divorce and he also had started a new relationship and he was in between relationships. And that's kind of what the song's about. So interesting stuff. Uh, number 16 is another hard rocker uh, band, White Snake with Is This Love. Great song by them. One of my favorite songs by them. Uh, the interesting thing about this song is that the video featured uh, Coverdale's girlfriend, but he had also fired the entire band before shooting the video to this song. So he's the only member of the band that was in the video and on the album, which is very interesting. Uh, A lot of interesting stuff with White Snake. Great band. Maybe I should do a video about them sometime. All right. Number 15. We are getting to the uh, second song by um, about Patricia Arquette and it's called In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel was married to her and he wrote this song for her. So now you have some interesting trivia. Toto with Rosanna and In Your Eyes. Uh, by Peter Gabriel, are both by about Patricia Arquette. Uh, what an interesting thing. And this song's so beautiful. Of course, the I, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention the movie Say Anything. Uh, and you see the photo right over there with John Cusack holding up the boom box uh, with In Your Eyes. Uh, such a classic moment, a classic film, and such a beautiful song. All right. We couldn't have love songs in the 80s without Air Supply. Uh, and so this is the first song that hits the charts. Yes, they're that good. And yes, they have a lot of wonderful songs. So it's making love out of nothing at all. Uh, it's one of the videos that Graham Russell, um, his wife appeared in and, uh, there are two videos for this song. So this one is the more modern one where he's leaving to go on tour and he begs her to go with him and she can't because, uh, she's got other responsibilities and what happens with that. And, Uh, Just a beautiful song, great video, and, you know, you can't go wrong with Air Supply and their love songs. There's so many of them that are so good. Uh, Number 13, Lionel Richie, again, he ruled the 80s with a lot of great songs. Uh, Hello. And this song is a beautiful song. I love the video. The video is just amazing where he's uh, a professor at a university and he falls in love with a, a blind girl and... Uh, she creates his face out of clay, which is something you probably remember if you've seen the video. Um, just a beautiful song, a great video, and I just I I love it. it it's just fantastic. Uh, number twelve, another song by U two on on this. This is from uh, probably my favorite album by them, Joshua Tree. It's with or without you. Uh, such a beautiful song, fantastic. If you don't know this one. Definitely listen to it. It's it's an essential U2 song. And number 11 is my favorite Hall & Oates song. Uh, it's just so catchy, so upbeat, but it's also a great love song, You Make My Dreams. Uh, just such a wonderful song. I love it. I can listen to it all the time, and it, it makes me feel good. It makes you feel better. It just has this upbeat um, tune. So let's get into my top 10 and, and uh, finish this up. So let's get into the top 10. Number 10. You guessed it. Another song off the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. This one's Hungry Eyes. 
uh, by Eric Cartman. Such a great song. Uh, fit the album perfectly and probably the biggest hit off of the uh, soundtrack. Uh, such a great song. Uh, number nine is one of the essential hits of the 80s. Probably a song that will live forever uh, and a video that just revolutionized music videos. It's AHA, Take On Me. Uh, such a great song and a great video. Uh, just wonderful. And I love the keyboards in that song. Uh, just so fantastic. Um, number eight, another Air Supply song. Here we go. All Out of Love. Uh, what a beautiful song. Probably one of their most well-known songs. Um, you know, with Air Supply, that whole Greatest Hits album by them, if you've never heard it, uh, give it a listen. It's just fantastic. So many beautiful, wonderful uh, love songs. Um, number seven is actually Chicago with You're the Inspiration. Uh, this is the last album that Peter Cetera did with the album, uh, with the band. And it's just a beautiful, gorgeous song. Um, I love it. It's it's really great. And it just is a, a good message to a girl. And uh, just kind of the the way that it that it goes. I mean, I, I really love this song. Just fantastic. Uh, number six, we've got Madonna hitting the hits, and, and she was fantastic in the 80s. Uh, but this song, Crazy For You, uh, came out. And it's not played as often, but Madonna really, her pipes are incredible on this song. She really wails. It was actually used for a movie called Vision Quest, and that movie had a great soundtrack. The movie didn't do as well as they thought it would do, but the soundtrack is amazing. If you ever get a chance, check out the soundtrack for Vision Quest. All right, so we're getting to top five. Uh, number five is my favorite Cindy Lauper song of all time. Uh, it's a gorgeous song. She has such a gorgeous voice and has many wonderful songs, but this one takes the cake for me. It's Time After Time, which, as I reported on a previous video, uh, she found the title from the movie Time After Time in 1979. Um, what a great song. So beautiful. Uh, number four is Brian Adams, uh, who is a, a staple in the 80s, and his song Heaven, which is just... This is a beautiful song. I love this song. It's fantastic. Um, it's great. I mean, Brian Adams had so many good hits in the 80s, but this one is one of my favorite songs by him. Uh, number three... Bonnie Tyler with her beautiful raspy voice. Uh, she sounds amazing. She had a lot of great hits in the early 80s. And this one is probably her most well-known song, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Uh, just a gorgeous song. She wails on it. It's it's fantastic. And I would say that uh, you know this is one of the best songs of the 80s, in my opinion. Uh, it's just so beautiful. All right, number two, uh, these last two songs could probably be interchangeable because uh, they're just that good. Um, number two, Lou Graham and Foreigner with one of my favorite songs by Foreigner, I Want to Know What Love Is. Um, I can't explain how awesome the vocals are on this song. Um, it's so fantastic. Uh, he just hits everything, and it's just so beautiful. It's a gorgeous song. It's probably my favorite Foreigner song. I just think it's just a fantastic one. That's why it's in my top 10. And, and like I said, it could probably be number one, switched with the number one that I do have. So number one on here um, is Journey Faithfully off of their Frontiers album. This song is beautiful. Um, it's really a song that, that was written about uh, being on the road and being away from uh, family and the ones that they love. Um, and it's just the commitment song. Uh, such an, a, a sequential love song. Just so beautiful. Great, fantastic song by Journey. So Faithfully is my number one song. I wish I knew how to play it. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, uh, what do you think of the list? What songs do you think should be higher? What songs should be Lower, what songs did I miss off this list? Let's have a great discussion about these songs uh, below in the, the comments. And we'll see you next time on Rob Rod's Gen X Pop Culture.